You don't have any kids, do you? I sure don't. Okay, well, neither do I. Not that I know of, at least. Yeah, it's worth it. Figure this out together. <laughs> uh, Hot 107.9. It's Chris Cruz and Brooke Taylor. We love Hillary Duff. I think everyone likes Hillary yeah, Duff I love enough. Her. You know she has a baby now. Yes. Uh, well, have you ever seen a birth or seen one on video or been around like a newborn baby? Um, yeah, kind of. You know they have the umbilical cord still hanging out. Uh huh. And it stays in there before it falls out on its own at some point in time, right? Yeah. Well, Hillary Duff uh, did this behind her husband Mike's back. She said, "You know what's a big milestone for me? The belly button falling off." And I secretly kept it. Uh. It's in a Ziploc <laughs> bag <laughs> in the back of my makeup drawer. That's disgusting. I have never met anybody in my life that I know of who has kept a baby's umbilical cord. I, I mean, I remember like keeping their first like haircut, like the little snippet of hair and also stuff. Weird. But belly buttons? When my nephew Luke was born, he had like a big, thick, long umbilical cord. Uh. And I'm like, why would you? It's just, it's a slimy. It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna puke. You don't want That's that. So gross. I just want to know if anyone's ever done this because I'm, I'm mortified by this. I'm really disgusted. Uh, I hope not, but I mean. Blech. Seven four eight four hot. It's a number here. Seven four eight four four six eight. If you, as a parent or somebody you know, has kept the baby's umbilical cord. <laughs> Well, first off, you can tell you guys don't have kids because it's not slimy. <laughs> when my nephew Luke was born, I saw him it's like dry. five minutes out of the womb, and he had this long, alien, slimy-looking monstrosity coming out of his stomach. And it stays on for a few weeks, so it's like dry. Okay, but did you keep it? I didn't save either of mine, but a lot of moms do save it. And it's, it's just dry. And what do you gross. do with it? Ooh. Put in their scrapbook. Oh, no. That's not okay. What's your name? Amy. Amy, well, thanks for calling and thanks for not being grody. Okay, thanks. Bye. I have my children's umbilical cords, all three of them. That is so disgusting. Why would you do that? Because if anything does happen to them, it was set up when I had my child at DuPont Hospital. Mm -hmm. What they do is it's the best way if your child comes up missing or anything to find DNA. Yeah, but don't they have, they don't you have like, like, a, like a blood sample or like a fingerprint or like dental records? Yeah, you really need they, to keep the cord? Well, my children have all that. But in today's day and age, why not be extra safe? Will you please I throw it out? It's just, it's just the thought of it seen in my head just makes you want to vomit. It's like a murder case. Like, no, have no fear of the umbilical cords here. <laughs> well, it's in a little file in a safety deposit box. All right, keep that thing locked forever. <laughs> Promise me you'll never open that ever again. I hope I don't ever have to open it, ever. <laughs> Well, I am 21 years old, and my parents kept mine. How, did you see it? Yes. They have a baby box of a whole bunch of pictures and my first haircut and my umbilical cord. Okay, well, you're kind of, like, young, right? Okay, but is it creepy? Like, did you look at it and, like, touch it and, like... I didn't get it out of the bag, no, but I did see it. But it's gross, right? I don't think it is. It's... I mean, it's, it's a rotting up, piece of like human flesh. Fruit. How is that not vile and gross and disgusting? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it was it's a big part of, for my family. Like, all my aunts and uncles did it with their kids. Like, the family, <laughs> like, a, you can do a Christmas tree with everybody's umbilical oh, cord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll go that far. Got to resolve this once and for all. It's Chris Cruz and Brooke Taylor on Hot 107.9. Hillary Duff kept her baby's umbilical cord in a bag, so I'm going to call my mom because I want to see if she kept mine. That's gross. I'm just going to call real quick and see what's up. Hello? Hello, Mother. It's Christopher. I was just looking at your bulging bicep on Facebook. Well, that's weird. Isn't that weird? Uh, I'm here with our new girl, Brooke Taylor. I want to introduce you to her. Hi. Oh, hi, Brooke Taylor. Hello, You're Mom. Cool. I've, I've seen you on Facebook. All right. Well, anyways, we have a question. All right. Um, there was a story about, you know who Hillary Duff is, the actress? Yes. She had a baby, and she kept the baby's umbilical cord in a Ziploc bag and still has it. Oh, I know. Um, did you do that with me or Ricky? Did you keep our cords? <laughs> No. What did you do with them? I that was I like a hesitating answer. I know. I don't know. I had C-sections, so I don't know what they did with them. Oh, so were, were we? did they just cut them off and we were good to go? Yeah. Now, Daddy might have cut it. Daddy might have cut the cord. At least he cut the right cord. Well, I know he did with your brother. I'm not so sure with you. This is getting so weird. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, I gotta go. Okay. Love you. I miss you. I right, love you too. Bye. Bye.